What's up guys? It is your girl Leslie Love here back with another YouTube tutorial. She back guys. I was gone for a hot minute. I know but you know we're back. We're all in quarantine and I just figured why not take advantage of the time that I have home and actually just like do something with my life for once. You know what I'm saying? You guys know what I'm saying. So um, yes. Uh, we're back today. We're just gonna do a nice little quarantine and chill with me video We're just gonna hang out. We're gonna talk about some new products that I have in front of me and just kind of shoot the shit You know what I'm saying and just hang out and keep it totally casual So before we get started, please make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell So you know exactly when all of my videos drop and uh, Yeah, let's be friends dude because I think now more than ever. That's exactly what we fucking need, right? Am I right? Am I right? All right, cool, let's get this going. Okay, so I've already moisturized and primed my face and I am using the Catrice Fresh It Up Primer, which is one of my faves. It is so good, very comparable to the uh, NYX Hydra Touch, which is my all-time fave. So this was really good. So for today, I'm kind of in between using the Lancome uh, Tiant Idol Blah 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 Foundation. This is in the shade uh, 230 Buff Warm. She does look like she might be a hint too warm for me, but I mean too warm, too light, but we'll give it a shot, I think. And then the, more, uh, the Makeup Forever Reboot Foundation. I've heard really good things about this foundation, and this one is in Y255. So let's just see. Reboot actually looks like it might be a pretty good fit. So let's go ahead and try her out. Just gonna pump a little bit of this onto my palette here. Hmm, it looks like it might be cute. Okay, let me just push this weave back, girl, because we actually put on a weave today, honey. We went all out for this YouTube tutorial, okay? Because my hair has been crusty, dusty, and up in some kind of a bun for the majority of this entire quarantine uh, season. So we're trying to be a little bit um, cute today, okay? So let's see. This is my first time ever trying this foundation, so I'm quite nervous. Let's take a look. It is very, I mean, is it doing, I guess it's doing a little bit, but holy cow, dude, this is like, did it say that I have to apply this any special way? I don't think I noticed anyone saying anything that I have to be like with a brush or something. It doesn't say. Okay, well then we're just gonna keep going. Let's see if we can build her up. First impressions. This is like my skin, but better. Like you can still see all of the freckles. You can still see, you know, my skin definitely peeking through. And it feels really light on the skin. Like this is definitely second skin. This is actually quite nice and definitely not something that I normally gravitate towards because I'm not necessarily a full coverage kind of gal because I use so much concealer, it kind of balances it out. Um, so it gives me that kind of look that I'm going for, but this is definitely, I will say this is definitely um, lighter than even like the lighter foundations that I like to wear. You know what I mean? So quite interesante. I'm also interested to see if maybe it'll oxidize a little bit more. You know, it looks like it's gonna be a pretty good match. So today, I am gonna use the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop Concealer. Uh, are you gonna focus here, ma'am? There we go. And I am using the shade Natural, and then I'm gonna touch a little bit of it with a vanilla. Cause girl, quarantine, and even with the amount of sleep that I am getting, she is not being any kind of generous with these under eye circles. So we're just going to wipe her out real quick. I love this concealer. It really does help out with my under eye circles because y'all know that this is like some deep rooted <laughs> hereditary issues, but it's okay. We'll just cover them up like you cover up any other 
like issue in your life, right? Pretend it doesn't exist. Just cover it up, throw it under the rug, or ca cover it under 10 pounds of concealer. <laughs> I'm gonna hit it with just a little bit of the NYX in uh, vanilla, just in like these real hollow areas here, and just a little bit, just to kind of pop that out a little bit more so that we don't have a shadow, especially with the powder that I'm using. I'm really trying hard to keep the brightness under my eyes to a minimum because I've been known to kind of just cross the line with how bright my under eyes are. And I think it's just like this kind of subconscious, you know, my under eyes are so dark, let me go ahead and make them as bright as possible. But your girl's been crossing the line, dude. Crossing the line. So the powder that I'm gonna be using today is definitely not as bright as I've used ever in the past, but I'm kind of into it. Now I'm going to set the perimeter of my face with the LA Girl Pro Face uh, Powder. There we go. And this is in the shade Creamy Natural. Now I really, girl, y'all know that I'm just, you know, a, a bitch who's balling on a budget. So I'm still into anything that does or works exactly as I need it to. That's budget friendly. So I think this is like $7.99 or something like that. It's just such a good, and it smells so lovely too. I really like it. So I need to know, what are you guys doing to like stay sane during quarantine? Because let me tell you, the first like couple of weeks, I felt legitimately depressed. Like I was sad and just moody and just not in the right mindset. Because it's one thing to be able to be home you know what I mean? Which is cool, like working from home, yeah, fun. But it's another thing to not be able to go anywhere or do anything with like this crazy looming fear that you can get sick and it could be really terrible for you or not even just for you, but for someone else who's sick, you know what I mean? And I think for me, my biggest fear is that I have a niece who's currently going through chemo and you know, she lives with me. So having that fear of thinking if I'm selfish enough to go to the stores for no fucking reason instead of doing like curbside pickup and just you know literally putting myself out there um that I could I could really harm her that's really scary too and I think a lot of that pressure really just kind of like mounted on me and I was like oh my god this is I I, I was just not in the right mindset at all but um I decided that every day even though I'm home working, I'm going to get myself ready and just feel better about myself because when I feel like I look good, I tend to be in a better mood, you know what I mean? And it's not like a conceited thing. It's more of just like, I don't feel like a slob kebab. I have never wanted to feel like a slob kebab because when I feel like a slob kebab is when I am just in like the worst mood and I just don't, I don't feel productive that day. You know what I mean? So every day I get myself a little bit ready even if it's just concealer, to uh, at least have that kind of normality. You know what I mean? Oh, and I forgot to mention. So if y'all, and I mentioned this in my um, IG story. So if you have been with me for a minute, you guys know that the NYX or the NYX blotting powder is my favorite under eye powder. And it is unfortunately being discontinued. Why? Because they know I love it. And of course they're like, <laughs> Let's just take away the one good thing that this girl likes and just ruin her life. So it is being discontinued. So I have been on a mission trying to find something that is even comparable to it. And I think I found it. And it's these e.l.f. Um, for the for the life of me, I can't remember what they're called. I'll, I'll list them down below. But they're like this stay and play something pressed powder. And it's probably the only thing that is even close to that powder. And even better for me, they're a lot cheaper. So that's okay with me. So now I'm gonna take everything off or dust it off because I'm not super into, oh shoot, I forgot to do this though. I do this because I have creasy uh, smile lines 
and that helps set a little bit. So I'm not gonna remove that, but I am gonna take off everything from my nose and my under eyes because I'm just not into baking too much anymore. I kind of just realized that it's not that I have dry under eyes, I have textured under eyes. So the longer that I leave powder on there, the long or the more crepey it'll look. So um, that's just not what we're gonna do today, honey. Okay, so let's move on to some bronzer. I did order the new, I don't know if it's new to be honest, it might be new to me. It's the Laguna Matte Bronzer from NARS. She is really beautiful. What's interesting is that in the pan, it doesn't look like it would be, or does it? Actually, it does pick up pretty pretty dark on camera, so never mind. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and just do this very lightly. Bring some life back to this face. You know what I'm saying? And I'm just gonna contour a little bit. I am gonna use the Marc Jacobs, the one fancy product that I have. Marc Jacobs, fantastic, really nice and big. And then this kind of just flat brush to kind of hit right below the cheeks at a smidge of definition and then just kind of buff it up. I'm going to um, do my eyebrows off camera real quick and I will be right back. Okay. Eyebrows are on and now we're gonna put on a little bit of blush and highlighter and then we'll do the rest of the face So for blush, I'm gonna use this one today. It is the essence the blush in the shade beloved And it's just like this really cute pinky, you know, I got you guys know that I'm just like super into the pinky blush But I'm trying real hard to be less extra with the blush So I'm gonna use the smallest amount Not bad. Okay. I love blush and I think I love it so much that I tend to just go overboard. You know what I mean? So... I just need to learn to like tone it down a little bit, girl. Okay, so for highlighter today, I do have two new ones. Um, and I have used both of them and uh, we'll see how they look together. Just because one of them is like, eh. And the other one is like, eh. so maybe together they'll be cute. Let's see. So the first one is this health, health, health highlighter in the shade white gold, really pretty. And then the other one is the Wet and Wild with Bretman Rock, the Jungle Rock uh, loose highlight duo. Um, I don't know if it's just called. Oh, it's called a uh, Lioness and Tigress. I don't know, girl, but it's this one here. And it's like the the duo set. I don't know if you can tell. You can tell with this. Yeah. Um, it comes with like the two different shades. So we're going to try both of them, girl. Okay. Well, not this one because the bronzier one is like full on. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's like full on chunks of glitter, girl. It is tough times. So I'm not going to do that one. I am going to do the light one here, which also has a lot of glitter in it. So... Let me get my highlighting brush and we will begin. I am going to spritz my brush with some Morphe setting spray. Es too much. Oh, girl, I did put too much. And I'm first going to go in with the e.l.f. highlighter. It's cute. It's not like highlighting anything like holy mother of Christ, but it, it's doing a job. For the price, I don't know, what, $6 or something? I'm definitely like not mad at it. That's for sure. I'm gonna put some right here on Z forehead so I don't look as dusty and crusty. I look a little bit more natural. There you go. Doesn't that look like skin, girl? Oh my God, Jilla. Into it. And then I am going to put a little bit on the tip of the nose. Just to lift it up a little bit. Is it doing anything? <laughs> Highlight me, damn it. Highlight me. Ugh. Okay, now I have to shake out the Bretman Rock Run. I'm gonna do this lighter goldish 
whatever this one is called. Oh shit, that's actually a lot. But definitely has a sparkle to it. It actually has like a tinge of that rose goldy one from the, I don't know if it mixed on accident or it's in there. No, I think it's mixed in there, like on purpose. She cute or whatever. So let's move on to eyes. Now I was sent a really nice care package from NYX and I am gonna use their Escape Artist palette. It's really, really beautiful. It just has a ton of like really gorgeous colors in it. And um, I'm just gonna do a simple eye because the eyeliner I think is gonna be the star of the show today from Velour, but I'll get into that in a moment. So I am just gonna quickly do a fast eye using some neutral colors. I'm gonna power through this part and really just speed it up so you guys don't have to waste your time watching because it's just a basic ass neutral eye. So um, yeah, here we go. Okay, so the eyeshadow is done. I am gonna buff off this, uh, what we did here to kind of carve out the cheeks a little bit more because she's a little distracting, I'm not gonna lie. Kind of feel like one of those dolls with like the lines, what are those called? Where you stick your hand up its butt? Whatever, you know what I'm talking about. Okay. So the star of my show today is going to be this Velour Lash and Go Eyeliner and Lash Adhesive Hybrid. Now they sent this to me. I need to make sure it's in focus. There we go. So it came into this. It came into this. It came in this nice little package, um, and it's this really. I don't know. It's quite interesting. It's not magnetic, which I initially thought that it was. Are you gonna focus? There we go. And um, you can kind of see like the white inside marbleized. I'm assuming that's the glue. Uh, and it's not magnetic actually. It's just like a sticky eyeliner that dries down. And when you attach, well it doesn't dry down, but when you attach it before it dries down, attach the lashes, it's supposed to, like a one shot deal as opposed to having to do eyeliner, wait for it to dry, and then put glue on your lashes, apply it, wait for it to dry. You know what I mean? It's that, it kind of like bypasses that glue step because it's all in one. So these are the lashes that came in it. I'm not gonna lie, I did try them out yesterday. I tried to actually record this entire video yesterday and it was a fucking disaster, a really hot mess. So we're trying it out again today. So, um, in trying this out yesterday, um, I did notice that, uh, if I can open this, I did notice that you have to move relatively quickly um, because I don't think that you can allow this eyeliner to dry down completely and um, be able to stick on your lashes because I did have to kind of go over it a little bit in order to get that lash on, like snugly, you know what I mean? Um, it is like this felt tip I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that because it's gonna be focusing on my dumbass face, but it is a felt tip liner. It smells quite interesting, I'm not gonna lie. Not like fragrancy, it's like chemically plasticky gluey, which makes sense if it's a lash liner glue. We're gonna get into this. So I am just gonna do like a quick, simple little cat eye because these are baby lashes. Um, I, I can't do anything dramatic, otherwise it'll just get like swallowed up by the liner. So here we go. I haven't used, and, and just bear in mind, total disclaimer, I haven't used a liquid liner in a minute. So it may or may not be cute, but we're just gonna go for it, girl, because ya pa que. I ain't got nothing else to lose, right? Besides my professional title, but whatever, no big deal, we'll just get into it. Okay, now I'm gonna quickly stick on this lash. I don't wanna waste any time and allow this to dry. And it's on. Holy cow. 
I have it totally not on correctly. There's so little that I'm missing this total edge, but whatever, regardless of that, the way it feels, it actually feels like really secure. And I remember this from last night. It actually feels like, it doesn't feel like you have an eyelash on. You know what it feels like? When you have one of those eyeliners that kind of dries down uh, tight, not thick, but tight. You know what I mean? It's some, you kind of go over it a few times and it kind of just dries down with that tight feeling like you know you have eyeliner on. That's what this feels like. It feels like I have eyeliner on, but the lash, is totally, I mean, I'm not gonna pull it too hard because it's still drying down, I'm assuming, but it's it's on there, girl. It's on there. So I'm gonna do the next eye or the other eye um, off camera real quick to save time because Lord have mercy, this liner is a lot to work with since I haven't used a liquid in a minute, but um, I'll be right back and uh, we'll continue on. Give me one second. All right, guys, so I completed the second eye and my opinion still holds true. I actually feel like it kind of lifts up my eye, surprisingly enough, like the, the, the I don't want to say stickiness or tackiness because those are not accurate words. It's like the, just how it dries down and mind you, it does dry down with like a kind of shiny, glossy finish, which I don't necessarily love nor hate. I'm kind of indifferent, but it's okay. Um, I like it. I gotta say, this is a really nice alternative to magnetic lashes. So I feel like if you have a little bit of a hard time applying the glue for some reason, this kind of gives you some leeway because you have space between, you know, where you're applying the lash and how thick you do your liner to put that glue or the lash on. So, you know, that kind of slipping and sliding you can get sometimes with applying lashes if you don't let your glue get tacky enough. This, I feel like it would eliminate that. So in my most humble opinion, I think this would be a really good buy if you wanna try an alternate way of applying lashes if you've been having a hard time doing it yourself with either glue or the magnetic ones. This is a nice option. So I am gonna put some mascara on and this is the NYX On The Rise Volume Mascara. I have no idea if it is new or not, but we are gonna use this one today. Um, it does have this kind of like thicker uh, doe foot, whatever applicator thing is. And I am gonna put some on the bottom and on my top lashes right quick. Okay, so let's move on to lips. Now I'm just gonna do something simple because I really don't care right now. I'm gonna wipe off some of this crusty dusty that's going on here. Oh, you could even see a little bit of the shine from the lights on that eyeliner. So if you're okay with that, I would still give this a shot for sure. I am going to use Morphe uh, Lip Liner in Honeymoon, and you can tell how much I love it because look at how small this thing is. I like this one because it's not super pink like Backseat Love. I feel like Backseat Love is a cute option if you have a lighter lip, obviously, but to me, it's just a little too pink. This is a little closer to my natural lip color, and then I'm just gonna put a clear gloss on top. Okay, and for the clear gloss, I am gonna use the e.l.f. Lip Liqueur in clear. Super simple. I like this one. It's nice. I can't, I don't remember if this one is like the lip plumping one. Maybe. I'm not really feeling a tingle, so maybe not. Okay, whatever. So that is it for this tutorial. Just a quick little get ready with me, quarantine and chill edition. Let's chit chat and bullshit about nothing really because I didn't do a lot of chit chatting, but it's okay. You get the gist of it. So this was my reintroduction back into YouTube and I can't thank you enough for making it to the end of the tutorial. Um, make sure you stay safe. Make sure you stay healthy um, mentally and physically, especially during these really trying times. Like I told you in the beginning, you know, there, there's a couple of uh, weeks or days or just moments where you feel like you can be so lost in being in this kind of self-isolation moment. But just know that literally everyone else is going through exactly what you're going through right now in some capacity or another. So stay strong, girl. You're too cute to be that down anyway, right? 
let's remember that. So um, yes, again, thank you so much for sticking around to the end of this tutorial. Please make sure you subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell, and give this video a big fat ass thumbs up for me. It really does help since it lets me know what you guys like to see. Um, and yeah, I totally intend on being back on here a lot more, especially now during this downtime. Um, I've decided to just stop being a little bitch and just kind of, you know, get back out on there. Get back on that fucking horse. You know what I mean? That horse being, I guess this channel? I don't know where I was going with that girl. That shit went way too deep. But other than that, thank you so much again. I love you guys. And until the next time, darling, bye-bye. <laughs>